Okay, uh, so I'm starting to get a loud rumbling sound from here. Um, uh, I thought it was the blower. I took the blower out, I checked it, and had a bunch of junk, all these bugs and stuff that were all lodging it. So I was thinking it might have been throwing it off center and it was causing the vibration and everything. Um, once I got that out, I went ahead and I checked the bear and I spun it. It seemed okay. I, I didn't feel like any hang ups and it spun freely, but I think at higher rotation when this thing actually kicks on, I think it is the bearing and the blower. So I went ahead and I ordered a new blower and I actually got this on eBay and I tried to get it from Renai themselves but their customer service and trying to find parts is just horrendous. Like I even called one of the local uh, Johnstone dealers around here that is, uh, they have Renai and they couldn't even find the part number for this thing. So I had to go online obviously and I found the blower for it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and replace the blower and hopefully that fixes our problem. But I'll go ahead and turn it on so you can hear and uh, see what it's doing. You can hear that loud vibration. And then what I think is happening, it'll actually throw a 10 code on here. And I think that's from the bearing not being able to pull uh, and ventilate. Well, you'll see it here in a second. course it's going to try and prove me wrong right now <laughs> it's going to work perfect other than the vibration sounds goes through the code and So let's take a look at this thing. So this is the new blower. And right here is where you attach uh, the thermal sensor. Goes in right here and then screws in here. So this is definitely the right blower. And it spins nice and free. But then again, the other one did too, but thinking there was something wrong with it. I think at just higher RPMs, the uh, bearings are, you can see where they're shot. All right, so let's go ahead and get this panel off. Go ahead and shut this off.
turn the gas off. All right, so now that we got the panel off, this just slips up and out. You can hang that down to the side. And we're gonna need to unplug this here. Put that off to the side. And then undo that. That's your power to your blower. And then we're gonna need to remove these two screws right here and also this vent here. So this can just slide off to the side. Let's see that detaches from there. So let's get those two screws out now. Okay, now that we got those two screws out, it pulls right out, but then you gotta remove that thermal sensor right there, that white, white wire. It's just one screw. So let's go ahead and get that off. And that just pulls right out. And there we go, there's our blower. So, like I said, it, it spins freely. All right, so here's our new one. Let's go ahead and we'll do the reverse of what we just did. Let's get the thermal sensor back in. And then when you're putting this back in, there's a tab back here. You gotta make sure the tab goes into the slot all the way into the back up top there. Um, Cause I read that that also give you vibrations, uh, but I never took this apart before, um, before that. So I knew that it wasn't because it was put in wrong. Uh, Cause it's been that way since I bought it, it was brand new. So let's go ahead and get this in. And my light's dying out. I mean, that's why it's blinking. So you can see it's it's back on there now. That's clenched on. So then we want to plug this back in. And that's on there now. And then. I'll plug this back in. All right. So that's connected. The sensor is connected. This is connected. That's all connected. Let's go ahead and put this back on. test it before we throw the cover back on. Turn the gas back on. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and run the water and we'll know for sure what 
what's going on with it. Hear how it, I mean, it's so quiet now compared to how it was. That's how it should be. And as long as we don't get a code, you can actually see the flame inside there on the propane gas. Yeah, hear how quiet that is now? You could tell the difference from before. It was just rumbling and really loud. So I'm hoping that that was the issue and that's what was throwing all the, the 10 code on there as well. That it was all from the, the bearing and the blower because uh, it definitely won't run right if it's messed up. Alright, so we got the cover back on now. Uh, got rid of that noise um, and the code and it's working good now. Um, so yeah, that was the problem. Uh, it didn't seem it like when you just rode regularly spin the bearings, spin that blower in there, it seemed fine. But, uh, you know, obviously at higher, uh, rotations, um, I mean, if, if they're worn, that was probably all the vibration and noise we were hearing because they are worn, but they seem normal if you just spin them by hand. So, but all right, so that's fixed now. So hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.